Mm-hmm. Me? Personally, I mean, I've always believed in myself. It was more so everybody else. But my confidence and and my beliefs and my ability, that, that's never wavered. It's, it's everybody else. Opportunity. Opportunity. But you know how this league goes. Um, some people close the door and others and others are open one for you. So wait for your opportunity. If you get it, just try to take advantage of it. Uh, right before, um, no, no, no. When did I find out? Oh, at shoot around, uh, which was right before the game. So, uh, yeah, right before the game. No, I play the same way. I'm going to come out. I'm going to play the right way. Uh, I'm going to try to take the best shots available. I'm going to try to make the right play every possession. I play the game the right way. Um, it's very satisfying, and it's, it's it's even a better feeling to have a coach that believes in you, um, an organization that believes in you, and teammates that have your back. So uh, that's all I've been searching for on this journey, and um, I found that right now, and uh, I'm grateful for it. And like I said earlier, I'm gonna leave everything on the floor. Um, he is right about it. Uh, I spoke on it a, a couple games back, but when I signed here, I, my last game with Milwaukee, the night they cut me, uh, I suffered a calf strain. So uh, that kind of that kind of set me back. And then when I got here, I sprained my foot. So I just I had two little minor setbacks, and I wasn't able to obviously uh, work on my body or stay in shape. A lot a lot of it, you know, cut down my activity. So. Um, you know, I've been working to get back and get in a good place, and then on top of that, just getting used to this altitude. So it's a lot of obstacles in front of me, but um, I'm working and I'm um, getting better with each game. Um, I'm always be who I am, uh, but I, I'll definitely feel out. I, I've learned through experience, like you have to, you have to cater to certain people. Um, you can't deliver the message the same way to every person. Um, it's KYP, know your personnel. So um, absolutely, not even just my teammates, the organization, whatever the case may be. But uh, I've learned that and um, I've tried to apply that to every aspect of life. But with that being said, um, I'm always be myself, but I'm gonna definitely fill out a situation and some people don't, some people can't handle my personality, which is fine. There's some personalities I don't like. But uh, with that being said, I'm always remain myself, and um, that's all I can do. I was just asking about that that third that loose ball foul. I, I I really didn't understand why he called it, but um, I was just asked him to review it at half. He came back with an answer and moves moves on to the next play. So just wanted an answer. Um, I just constantly preach. Uh, we want to continue to to build winning habits, and and the way you do that is obviously obviously through repetition. So uh, we got to go out there and we got to do the right things on a nightly basis. That way, it's instilled in us. It's a natural thing. So um, that's more so the case. Uh, my mind is my mindset is long term. I'm thinking playoffs because we can't come out to slow starts in the playoffs. So that's something that's been a. a, a a nail in our foot most of the season. So that's something we got to correct. And we want to better ourselves. We can't be satisfied. Obviously, we're a good team, but we can be a lot better. And that's more so my mindset when it comes to me constantly preaching. And and they know that. <laughs> uh, he made the right decision. He made the right decision. <laughs> he made the right decision. <laughs> I, I can't really. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Man, we got a lot of talent, and we still missing two star players. Um, 
we we got a chance, but it's on us to continue to grow. Like I said, we gotta we gotta develop those winning habits. Just because it's it looks good on paper doesn't mean it's it's gonna go out there and just you can't. This isn't a simulation. Like we have to go out there and we have to perform on a nightly basis. So talent wise, we have everything. We have everything we need, but we gotta change our mindset. We gotta correct our our mistakes. And like I said, we just gotta keep growing as a team. Hey, DeMarcus, uh, a few weeks back, I asked you about buying in on a 10-day contract and if that can be difficult. You, know, you talked about things in Milwaukee not ending the way you hope necessarily. Just curious, now you're on this full-time deal, you're playing well, you get the start in front of the home crowd. Are you feeling a little bit more like you're a Denver nugget? You've got two feet in Denver. Um, I'm Like I've, I've said multiple times, I'm grateful for this opportunity, but I've been burned so many times in this business. Like I'll never really give. Like I, I won't give myself like high hopes because I know this is a nasty business. So um, I take things a day at a time. I try to be a better version of myself every single day. I try to grow every day as a man, as a father, as a husband, as a teammate, player, et cetera, et cetera. So um, I control what I can control. And that's my effort out on the floor. That's being a good teammate, being a voice in the locker room. And I just let everything else take care of itself. Hey, DeMarcus. Uh, everybody from Coach Malone to Will to all the other players, they've only had positive things to say about the uh, impact that you've had in the locker room as a vocal leader and, you know, holding guys accountable and stuff like that. Um, how comfortable are you stepping into a new group of guys and taking that role? And also, do you feel like that's something that the media has kind of missed about your impact on the team? I don't give a shit about the media at all. But um, it's, it's required. Like, when it comes to us becoming a better team, those things are required. It has to be a voice. It has to be a guy that's willing to hold everybody accountable and also being able to take criticism when it's, it's on you. Um, is it easy to do? Not at all, because sometimes being the vocal leader or, or speaking up or speaking against a guy, it can get a little bit uncomfortable. But you have to understand that that comes with trying to be a leader. But um, it's not easy at all, but I'm not running from the responsibility either.